most of the devices that are connecting to access points nowadays are battery operated. In this scenario, extending the life of battery is very critical. For example, an IoT sensor could be connecting to the AP and there the battery life expectation is in the order of several years. So anything that the access point can do to help the device go to sleep as much as possible. In sleep, the power consumption is low and wake up only when there is a need that's going to help extend the life of the battery. In 11AX, there is this feature called target wake time where the access point by monitoring the traffic patterns can tell one of these battery operated devices an exact time to wake up. That way, the device doesn't have to wake up frequently and check if there is any data. It just wakes up at the time that the access point told me to. And around that time, the access point using its knobs, make sure that the medium is clear so that it doesn't have to contend with anybody else. Just wakes up, has access to the medium because the access point has made sure that it will get access to the medium, gets the data, goes back to sleep. This helps extend the battery life significantly compared to what all the legacy standards could do. Just like in 11AC, 11AX standard also supports multi-user MIMO. There are two key changes. One is 11AC standard supports multi-user MIMO only in the downlink direction. 11AX on the other hand supports multi-user MIMO in both uplink and downlink directions. What this means is the access point can transmit data to multiple clients at the same time or it can receive data from multiple clients at the same time. The other difference is 11AC standard allows doing MU MIMO transmission to at most four clients at any given time. On the other hand, 11AX with 11AX standard, I can do my MU MIMO transmission to as many as eight clients. This almost helps us double the network capacity. We should also talk about 1024 QAM that is supported in the standard. With 1024 QAM, we are able to pack more bits in the same amount of airtime. This helps devices that are in close range to achieve higher data rates compared to legacy standards.